Welcome to the training lesson on the employment of the A-10C in an air-to-air -air engagement. I've engaged the autopilot to keep us level. Adjust power to maintain 230, 240 knots for this flight. Although the A-10 is not a fighter jet, it is nevertheless quite nimble and packs more than enough punch to defend itself in a dogfight. A Warthog spew of 30 Mike Mike will give any Predator something to think about before jumping an A-10. AIM-9 Sidewinders are also available to extend the engagement envelope against airborne targets. We have a pair of Su-25s about one nautical mile ahead of us set up as airborne targets. They are now popping flares to help you VID. Press the numpad asterisk key to zoom in on the HUD to get a better view. Press the numpad enter to return to the default cockpit view. It will be important for you to pay attention to your airspeed and maintain 230, 240 knots in this flight. Otherwise you will either lag behind or overrun the targets. Set the left MFCD to the DSMS page so we can review our payload. We are carrying a Lighting 2 pod on Station 2 and two AIM-9Ms on Station 11. We are also fully loaded with CM gun ammo. Although the A-10 should avoid getting tangled up in an air-to-air -air engagement as a general rule, you never know when an enemy aircraft might take an interest in you. In combat, a good opportunity may also present itself to you for an aircraft kill, such as an enemy chopper or ground attack jet buzzing around the battlefield at low altitudes. In such cases, the Lighting 2 TGP may be very helpful in keeping track of a bandit. Press OSB4 to open the TGP AA page. Now make the TGP soy by pressing the Hotes Huli Hat Right Long command or the K key on the keyboard. Target 2 on the right has stopped popping flares. We'll focus on Target 1 to the left, which is still releasing them. Use the HOTAS slew control or semicolon, comma, period, fort slash keys on the keyboard to position the TGP LOS over Target 1. The cross Q on the TGP display indicates an object the TGP can track. Target 1 has now stopped releasing flares. Press the HOTAS TEMIS UP command or left control and up arrow key on the keyboard to set the TGP to point track mode over target 1. Set the TGP to narrow field of view, NFOV, by pressing the HOTAS China Hat forward short command or the V key on the keyboard. It's a good idea to switch to FLIR video to keep the target in contrast against terrain background. Press the HOTAS Boat Switch Forward command or right alt and right arrow key on the keyboard to set the TGP to W Hot White Hot video. Make the HUD soy by pressing the HOTAS Coolie Hat Up Short command or the U key on the keyboard. Now set the HUD to air to air mode by pressing and holding the HOTAS Master Mode button or M key on the keyboard. The HUD is now displaying an AIM-9M reticle. The audible growl is an indication of the AIM-9 seeker lock status. The higher the pitch of the signal, the more valid the seeker lock. The AIM-9 is currently in boresight mode, which means the seeker is fixed to the boresight line and you have to maneuver the aircraft to place and maintain the reticle over the target for a valid lock prior to launch. Press the hold task China Hat Forward Short command or the V key on the keyboard to uncage the seeker. When uncaged, the seeker is no longer bound to the boresight line and floats around the scan zone. When attacking a target in boresight mode, uncaging the seeker prior to launch is a good way to confirm the seeker has a good lock. 
press the hold test China had aft short command or the C key on the keyboard to set the seeker back to foresight. The AIM-9 seeker can also be set in scan mode, where it performs a conical scan pattern around the foresight line to cover a greater volume of airspace around the aircraft. Press the hold test TMIS up short command or left control and up arrow key on the keyboard to enter scan mode. Whenever you're ready, press the A key on the keyboard to disengage the autopilot and maneuver directly behind target 1 to obtain a seeker lock. Most sidewinder shots are best taken under 2 nautical miles. Ensure that you have a good lock on target 1 and press the weapons release button to fire on that target. Fox 2 Flash 1. Maintain level flight. While the remaining 9M is in boresight mode, let's press the Hotas China Hat aft short command or the C key on the keyboard again to disable power to the missile so we can focus on the gun indication. Let's also revert the TGP to boresight and begin tracking target 2, which is now releasing flares again for VID. First, make the TGP soy by pressing the Hotas Kui Hat right long command or the K key on the keyboard. Now press the Hotas China Hat aft short command or C key on the keyboard to boresight the TGP. Set the TGP back to wide field of view WFOV by pressing the Hotas China Hat forward short command or the V key on the keyboard. Slew the TGP to the target and press the Hotas TMIS up short command or left control and up arrow key on the keyboard to engage point track mode. We'll need to close some range to target 2 for a gunshot. Increase power to close the range, but be careful not to overrun the target. You are now in good range for a funnel gunshot. Establish co altitude and co speed pursuit at 230 240 knots.
make the HUD soy by pressing the Hotel's Cooley Hat Up short command or U key on the keyboard. To bring up the funnel gun sight, we need to select one of 10 preset target profiles. To select the Su-25 profile to match our target, press the Hotel's Demus right command or page down key on the keyboard four times. Watch the profile name cycle in the weapon profile field on the HUD. To aim using the funnel gun sight, maneuver the aircraft to match the target's plane of motion, and position the target inside the funnel such that the target's wingtips are touching the edges of the funnel. At any given range, this position is calculated to be the firing solution for the target with the wingspan set in a selected profile. The gun indication also includes the air mass impact line, AML, which is the short vertical line below the gun bore line, GBL cross. The AML represents a round's trajectory over two seconds of flight time. When within close range to a target, placing the top of the AML on the target can be a good aiming cue. You are cleared to open fire on target 2. Guns, guns, guns. Good hits on 2. Maintain level flight for the conclusion of this lesson. I've engaged the autopilot to keep us level. Before we conclude this lesson, let's take a look at the IFC test menu, where you can configure the funnel target set. Right click the IFC switch on the AHCP once to set it to test mode. Now press the select rocker key to scroll down to the AAS air air submenu page and press the enter key to open. The AAS page lists all 10 preset aircraft available for gun sight selection. In addition, a single custom fixed wing entry and a single custom rotary wing entry can be made. Use the select rocker key to cycle through the profiles and the enter key to select the profile on or off. When set to off, the profile will not be available when cycling through target profiles in air-to-air -air mode. Whenever you're ready, left click on the IFC switch to set it back to on. This concludes the training lesson on air-to-air -air employment of the HNC.